Welcome back to another episode of Art at Home. My name's Meg and I'm here at Gitzland Art Gallery. Today I'm going to show you how to make a rainy day wax relief artwork with a 3D umbrella. First step that we're going to do is we're going to get some paint on our foam roller. Just make sure that there's some paint all around the roller by lifting it up. There we go. And I'm going to roll that onto my bubble wrap and you can see that excellent pattern that comes out with all those spots. And we're going to use this as a pattern on our umbrella. Today I've chosen yellow for our umbrella so I'm going to print onto some yellow paper just by putting it on top and pushing down onto the bubble wrap that I've painted. Oh, that's a really interesting effect. There you go. So I'm going to let that dry and I'm going to move on with the other part of my artwork. So I've got a plain piece of white paper that's um, it's a cartridge paper, so it's a little bit thicker than your regular printer paper, and also a white um, crayon, wax crayon. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw some little splashes on the ground to make it look like a raindrop's fallen into a puddle. And I'll show you what that looks like um, in texture on another piece of paper so you can see what kind of pattern that I'm drawing because you won't be able to see it as I do it with the wax crayon, but the next step's going to reveal that. So I'm just going to draw a circle and then another circle. And you can see that I'm just connecting the tops of all the circles. And that's going to be our little raindrops puddles that are on the ground. Yeah. So you want a, a number of those all over um, the bottom or the foreground of your artwork. I'm going to do that now with my crayon. You see there's a little bit of yellow on it. Take that off. So one in the centre. You can, I can just see what kind of shape I'm making but you won't be able to see that. I'm going to do a line across there from the puddle. I'm going to put some little splashes above each puddle and lots of little dots for the rain that's coming down as it is a rainy day artwork after all. I'm just trying to get them all in a similar kind of direction so I'm working my way up the page. And then at the top of the page, I'm going to use a scribbling technique to fill in some spaces to look like some clouds. Some big rain clouds at the top there. making sure I'm working also off my page a little bit as well. It's interesting when you crop some shapes off the side there. There we go, so I've got all my pastel down now. I might add a few more drops here now that I can see. Because you can't add any more once we do the next step, so you need to be happy with what you've got. There we go. So now we're going to start with the watercolour. So um, all you need to do is get lots of water on your brush and then pick up the pigment and just gently brush it over what we've drawn. And you can see as it dries, um, watercolour doesn't cling to the oil pastel. Okay, beautiful. You see I'm just doing in lots of patches because I want it to look like a very puddly wet day. Some areas have got a bit more colour than others and that's okay. Interesting effect. 
darken areas up, I can go back over them. So I'm going to transform into another colour now. Oh, I'm using a bit of grey and blue mixed together for this next layer. Oops. I can put some blue in the grey as well. Yeah, I'm using both blue and grey for this sky area. Once you've finished with your watercolour, you can set that aside to dry. We're going to get our spotty paper that we made earlier. We're going to cut that in half. Uh, fold this way. We're just going to concertina fold the entire piece of paper. And this is going to make our umbrella. Okay, you can see I'm flipping it over, folding. umbrella shape. We open that up and then I'm just going to trim a little bit off the bottom there and fold it over and then fix it together with a piece of tape at the back there. Yeah. Halfway. Now what our umbrella needs, it needs a handle. So on the rest of our yellow paper, we're just going to sketch a handle for our umbrella. So I would like to do a big yellow hook like this. And then in between, I'm just gonna do that goes into the umbrella there. That should be high enough. I'm going to cut that out. Then we're going to colour the stick just in black, like that. There we go. And you can see how that would be arranged on our artwork, like that. So I'm going to do that now. It's not quite dry yet, but we feel pretty dry in this area. So you want your umbrella sitting on the ground there. Work out where your handle's going to be. Roughly there. We'll glue it on. Perfect. And then we 
we're going to use some tape doubled over. Big bit of tape, flip it over onto itself, put it on the underside of our umbrella. Like that. Line it up with our handle there. Push it down. There you go, a rainy day artwork with a 3D umbrella. Thank you for joining me to make your very own rainy day artwork. If you make one at home, remember to hashtag Gifts Art at Home.